Hey guys, I am back from vacation. I unpacked all of my luggage. We ran out of here in a burst on, I think it was December 20th. And I was working up until the very last minute. So I just grabbed, I don't know, a bunch of random stuff off my desk. Um, and it was fine. Uh, we were with family and I really didn't have that much time to um, journal and <laughs> relax a lot on this um, vacation. So um, I'll just show you really quickly what I packed. So this is going to be in, instead of what I packed, well, what I'm unpacking um, from this vacation. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to close my fingers. Um, I had this super, super cozy scarf that I brought with me and it's kind of like a scarf and a blanket at the same time because it's 75 down in the valley in Arizona and it was one degree on the day we left Flagstaff. So um, yeah, I needed to pack warm clothes and cold clothes, which is really frustrating um, when you're going away. And this um, army green canvas tote I love this tote and I bought this like 10 years ago in Walmart and it still looks amazing and I actually bought it in black too and I have it filled with some beach stuff downstairs but <clears throat> has a big gigantic pocket on the front and I just um, carried all my journaling supplies like this wherever we went and then on the plane coming home I just kind of stuck that in my carry-on luggage so I brought um this this has an a6 Hovenichi in here with um some bible scripture and uh, a lot of quotes from um saints and I brought that with me because that always inspires me and makes me feel good uh this is my Milo um pouch I'm not going to open this up I've shown this in a Another video, it basically just has highlighters, glue sticks, um, what is that, that tape stuff called? The tape runner. Um, and yeah, just a few basic uh, journaling supplies, a little, I think my mini scissors in there. I also brought this pen pouch, which I got from Luna Lisa. And I believe she's an Etsy dealer, uh, Etsy dealer, Etsy seller based in... Arizona. Whoops. Um, and I love this because it had this wildflower print on it. And I was just happy and cute. Uh, and I just have some journal stickers, which I did not use. A couple of washi tapes. Hold on, I'm going to switch hands. This is easier for me. <clears throat> couple of washi tapes, these butterflies, and some grid tape, um, hotel thing, card holder, post-its from, from one of the hotels. We were in Walmart and I saw these button beads and they're like wood with these vintage floral prints on them. And I don't know, they just were really cute. It reminds me of that whole Pioneer collection thing they have going on there um, in the cookware section. And I don't know, I just thought they were cute. And I'll figure out something to do with those. <clears throat> Habit tracker, a prayer card. We stopped in a, um, at the Holy Cross Chapel in Sedona. And I picked up, um, I have so many prayer cards. Um, but I wanted to pick up another Joan of Arc. <clears throat> and then I did not bring a watercolor kit, but I just brought this little tiny lightweight box of, um, watercolor dots. Look, it's, a, it's small and light. It's about the size of this post-it. And it just has a whole bunch of watercolor dots in here so I could just do a little watercolor painting which I did very very minimally while I was there I have a scissor and 
these are the beads that are on my, whoops, sorry about the thumb there. <clears throat> on my A6 journal, this is my Chic Sparrow, uh, Mr. Darcy in the A6. I try to move up from the pocket size when I'm traveling. I feel like I just don't have enough paper for um, journaling. I just needed a little bit more. Um, space and I love this bead. It's not turquoise. It was called something Jasper and I cannot remember the name. But um, there's a bead shop that I go to when I'm there and they sell lots of loose beads and they're really pretty. So I bought a couple of, a couple of them there. Um, this is the only journal I brought, <clears throat> and I'm almost at the end of this. I just have those few pages left there. And that's it. I did all of this journaling while I was there. That's a little watercolor I did of the church we went to on Christmas Day. <clears throat> and, okay. So that was my journal. Um, I brought some stickers that I picked up in Hobby Lobby. I think last time I was there. But these are super thin packs. And they're just some florals. But they're pretty. And I like that. So I got those. My sunglasses. My pen roll. Which... Has. I only brought a couple of pens. I brought my Benu, my new Benu, which I am obsessed with. Not even kidding. Totally obsessed with this. Love the nib on that thing. Um, my Twisby <clears throat> Eco and Jade. I refilled with um, J. Bond's Stormy Gray before we left. Uh, a Parker Ballpoint Click Pen. Kaveco. Uh, this is a cross wonderlust in Borneo, and I was trying to use up the last of the Robert Oster um, bronze ink in there. And then I brought this. Hold on, I'm switching hands again. Oh, and this is the hand stitch leather tee pen roll that I've been using all year. Um, this friction. There it is. Pen, which is a really great writer, and I love the charcoal gray ink that's in here. But not only is it erasable, it's like invisible ink. I was journaling on some pages in here, and I started noticing that um, when I was pushing down, like, on the, the next page, some of the ink was, like disappearing like one day I came back here and the word adobe was like half erased so yeah this is not for archiving um your words <laughs> they'll just fade right off the page so be warned about that <clears throat> okay for quick note taking but let that be all you use it for um the church we went to on Christmas uh the speaker Matthew Kelly had um donated books to the church and uh yeah it was really great i read this in two sittings and i highlighted so much of the book and it was really inspirational and um, relevant and inspiring and yeah it was a quick read and so I suggest picking this up. Uh, life is messy for all of us. Nobody does it perfectly. Um, but I really like this book. It was really good. And then we went to a bookstore. And they have lots of used books. They, uh, used bookstores there. And I love vintage botanicals. So I picked up this one. And I'm going to scan a few of the pictures. And the rest of them, 
I don't know, I may cut out to put in journals, but look at how pretty that is. So, I got that. <clears throat> Local newspaper. Um, Arizona Highway. Christmas edition from years ago. Um, my cousin got me this journal for Christmas. We were not supposed to exchange presents. And she bought this for me. And it is beautiful. It is just a beautiful leather cover. And it has a little snap here. And she just put a little inscription on the inside. And this is the hide on the inside. And that's what the paper looks like. And I think somebody said they saw this in, um, oh, what's that place? Cracker Barrel. So I don't know if that's where she got it from, but yeah, she's, and she said it was so me when she saw it. <laughs> I love it. So I um, want to fill this with something special when I get around to it. And in my travel bag, I just, I carry a bag of peanut butter. No joke. Um, because it's peanut butter and I don't go anywhere without it. So I just, I always, always carry peanut butter packets. Oh, and a wipe. And these little granola bars that I got, they're not granola. It's kind of just a fruit bar. That's it. One apple, one pear. It's a fruit bar. And I got these in, I don't know if it was CVS or Trader Joe's, but these are yummy. And they're good. Um, and, health, um, and they're healthy. So... Better than eating junk, right? <clears throat> and then we stopped in a bookstore. Yeah. I will stop in any bookstore. <laughs> it's hard to get me not to stop in the bookstore. And this bookstore was selling, um, you know, how they have those random things at checkout. And I saw this pen. Really cute. This one says Plant Lady. And I bought one in yellow for my friend Gail. And it's called the Seven Year Pen. And it's, I don't know if that's the company, Seltzer. Yeah, Seltzer is the company. And it's a Swedish company. And yeah, it's supposed to last you like seven years because it's got a large barrel of ink in there. I don't believe that, but it was green and adorable. So... And I can always use an extra pen, right? I don't think it's going to, you know, put me out of my fountain pen usage. But always good to have an extra pen. <clears throat> and then I went to my favorite store, Ivy and Sage. And just picked up a couple of things. Um, botanical prints. Uh, these cards are these little deer. These little envelopes. And stationery. And what else did I get? Oh, this little, this little love um, thing, thingamajig. Gonna go on my desk somewhere. Cute. <clears throat> and I bought another book for the plane, but after having been stranded. Well, we weren't stranded. We were in Arizona with family. Who am I kidding? Um, I bought an extra book for the plane. And I thought I was going to read this. But by the time we got on the plane, it was 2 in the morning. And yeah, just went straight to sleep. And so I never got to read it. So I don't know. Maybe this will be my next read. I heard really good things about this. Um, a little scary, a little intense. And somebody said, read it during a snowstorm. And we had one last night here. So maybe I'll settle down with this later and give this a go. Anyway, that's my unpacking. There's my mess. Now I got to put all of this away. So anyway, thank you so much for 
for watching. I hope everybody had a happy, healthy, Merry Christmas, happy holiday, and a great new year. And just looking forward to, I don't know, creating some new stuff for 2022. And um, I guess I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.